Hello. I am Jirka from Czechia. Czechia is popular because of phone games. Phone games. Like we are using phone. Like we are using phone games. 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 Like we are using phone Great, so is this your first time you do this kind of interview? Yeah, it's my first time and I feel pretty strange. Strange? Yeah, yes. but no, no need to be nervous. Is it not really of official? You just we have some chat, answer some questions like what we normally do. Okay. Just like some talk. Okay. So before I start the interview, today's interview basically we have two parts. The first part is about the Czech Republic's culture and some more questions about Czech Republic. And the second part is about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's today's video. Some people ask like, is there anything you can't miss about Czech Republic? Like special stuff, culture stuff. Like all of the people are yeah. heading to Prague. But if I'm honest, I think that it's a bit pity. Yeah. Because Prague is nice. Yeah. But if you want to see Czechia, like Czech culture, mm -hmm. you should go out of out of Prague. Prague yeah. Like whatever you want. I I think that you shouldn't care. We have a lot of nice small yeah. towns and there's the real Czech culture in yeah. my opinion. And it's really cheap there. Yeah. Even like three times or four times cheaper than in Prague. So. Okay. Use it. Yeah, good to know. Next question will be when you greet each other and what you're gonna do. Like for example, French, they will do French kiss, pizu, pizu. And what you gonna do in Czech Republic? Ah, yeah, okay. Czech people are a bit yeah. reserved in this yeah. in these things. So for me, even for me, it's yeah. quite strange. Like if I meet someone to kiss him yeah. like for the first time. Yeah. And here, like between Erasmus students, mm -hmm. it was sometimes quite common. Yeah. So it was one of the things to which I had to use to. In Czechia, you are usually just say hi or like you can hug someone if you know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it's your friend or yeah. whatever. But that's all. Like people in Czechia are quite distanced in these things. Like okay. they like they are closed. Yeah, it's true. Okay, you you it's kind of reserved. So you just like say hi or have a hug, things like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Good to know. By the way, do you want to show show your eyebrow to the camera? <laughs> I don't know. It's not so good. Like it's wrong. Really cool. it, it's my first time when I was trying to do it. Yeah, so. but I think it's so cool. I think people will love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next question is my one of my favorite one. What do you think is the main industry in Czech Republic in Czechia? Like the main industry? Yeah. I think that automobile industry. What about the filming industry? Film industry. Like if it's developed or. For what are you asking? Exactly. Yeah, what do you think about the film industry in Czech Republic? Uh, we are making bullshit, like bullshit films, yeah. but it's like one group and it's quite a huge group. But I think that we have quite nice art films as well. Art films? Yeah, and Czechia is popular because of porn films. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't say this, you said this. Yeah, it's true that I think that we are in the top. Like when you will see some charts uh, of porn industry producers, Czechia is in the top. Yeah. Uh, even over the fact that we have just 10 million inhabitants, so we are quite small country, but yeah. porn is porn is popular. Yeah. And even gay porn, like we yes. are in the top in the gay yes. porn as well. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't yeah. know that. Um, what? How do you feel about it? Like the porn industry is so famous. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like it's funny yeah. in like in one way, mm -hmm. but it's quite sad. <laughs> it's oh, in yeah. another way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But like, you know, I ask them what kind of question they want to ask. The most favorite one is check hunter. Do you know? <laughs> I, I hate this kind of videos if I want to check Hunter, but it's fake in the end. But I think that all like everyone knows it. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, at the first beginning, I don't even know what is check Hunter, and they say the comment, and then I go to check. Okay, oh. 
<laughs> then I got in. <laughs> I mean, wh- I mean, why a lot of people just come and check out the check out? I just literally go to check what it is. It's like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I really don't like this video. Yeah. You don't like it? No, like a big check hunter. It's like for me, I have no idea why it's so popular because yeah. in the end it's so basic and it's fake. So like you can watch some better porn videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watches. I mean, just like some people give like meet people in the rest in the like uh, supermarket and just give money and do this kind of stuff. I think it's like, it's gonna wait. I mean, you can't like approach to a stranger to say I'll give you money. You want to have with me? It's like. No, I mean, the real life, I don't think it's possible gonna happen, honestly speaking. I think, like, you would be successful, but just in 10% or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but in, which, in yeah. which number of cases. But the thing is that we have so many episodes of Che Gunter right yeah. now that it's it's impossible to still find the new people. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, true. maybe in the beginning it wasn't fake, but right now it's like... Mm, you are signing contract in advance and everything and you are just doing the stranger but yeah that's, it. that's true um so talking about after uh, talking about the film industry we we'll like to talk about more about the culture like in your Czech culture is there anything you can't do it's bad to do that you can't do or it's bad to do the, uh, if you do this people will judge you except watch a check hunter Ooh, I need to think. I don't know. I think that in Czechia, people are not judging you so much. Like mm-hmm. you can do basically whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Mm. So since we are doing the interview, and I heard like you have learned some Chinese before, and you even have a Chinese book or something like this as a Christmas gift. I mean, I'm wondering why you want to learn some Chinese since Chinese is really a, one of the most difficult language in the whole world. It's true, but in like for another reason, mm-hmm. China is really huge. Yeah. And I was quite interested to learn some of the Asian languages. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why I decided for China. I was like, okay, it's the most huge country in mm-hmm. Asia, so why not? Like, I, I was wondering Japanese as well, but in the end, I decided for Chinese. Okay, yeah. I'm so glad. <laughs> and, and I have two two friends who are studying Chinese, yes. like in the university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, That's cool. it, it's kind of big thing in Czechia. I was surprised, but like not a lot. But yeah, in the same time, a lot of people are studying Chinese mm-hmm. because um, to do like translators or whatever. Because in the end, like Czechia have um, this kind of relationship with China, like political mm-hmm. relationship. So I think that for this reason they are studying it as well. Yeah, that's good to know. Like, do you think what is the most difficult part to learn Chinese? The most difficult? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I'm honest, like I'm saying, or you were saying that I was learning Chinese, but in reality, I just opened the chapter one in the book and I tried to learn some words Mm -hmm. and that's it. So I don't know, for me, for sure, the signs, like the letters, Mm -hmm. it was insane. I was like, I opened it, I was trying, I don't know, one hour to learn something, but I was like, (laughs) okay, okay, I I will be good with Russian language and English. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it is good to like know how it goes, is it hard or not, I mean, but if like it's too hard, it's not really necessary if you are not really want to do, put all your self into that language, then you just have some idea about it, it will be cool as well. Yeah. Talking about the uh, Prague, some people ask, I mean, this is because when there is a song, Chinese song, says in Prague there is a wish pool you can make some wish and throw some coins into the pool and which is absolutely is not true because I have been checking probably and I also check it it's not true there's no such pool in Czech city center and you can throw the coin just make a wish no it's not true <laughs> and then you're being like and then because uh, one famous singer sings something like this 
and what you can do in Czech Republic, like they make some wish in the uh, wish pool. I don't know exactly how to say it, and it turns out like all the people think it like in Czech Republic, in the Prague there are a pool there, but the, it's not. But in the end, like it's kind of Czech tradition yeah. that we are throwing uh, the coins in all of the fountains, like in, in the world Czechia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like if you want to, I don't know if you have some special wish mm -hmm. and you want this wish to come true, mm -hmm. you can you can throw this coin to like. You don't have. We don't have any special fountain for wishes, mm -hmm. but you can throw it like in whatever fountain you want. Okay. So, and during night, the homeless people are taking the money out. So, like you are also giving this money like to to the others. So it's like it's like a double win situation. Cool. And if do you have any like suggestion for the people who want to start in Czech Republic, or you think like English is is common in Czech Republic, or just like. No. English isn't common. I think if you are heading to Prague or to Brno, like into the biggest cities of Czechia, it will not be so huge problem. But in majority, the level of English in Czechia is not so good. Okay, it's not so good. So maybe you will have some troubles, especially if you would like to travel to the like another points, to countryside. You will have some troubles to communicate okay. for sure. But if you are planning to study there for a longer time, I think that you will learn at least some basic phrases. So don't worry. Okay, that's good to know. And here is the first part about the culture. Then it's the second part. <laughs> okay, yeah. greetings to China from Czechia. Okay. <laughs> okay, so see you guys next time. Bye!